Hello, and welcome again to Living English. Today, we'll be looking at writing personal letters and at some very important words called pronouns. But first, it's time for today's episode of Sisters and Brothers. Remember, the private detective told Anne that her brother's professor at the university had a letter for her. In this episode, she meets the professor. I'm sorry to hear your brother's gone missing, Miss Lee. We're all so worried. I've come to Adelaide to look for him. How long did he study here? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, two semesters. Did he get good grades? I'm afraid not. I don't think computer science was the right direction for him. The investigator, Mr Barber, said you have a letter from David. Ah, of course. It's, um, it's addressed to you. Uh, I told him I'd only give it to you in person. Dear Anne, please don't look for me. I need to be by myself. I can't study anymore. Tell Mum and Dad to forget about me and take care of themselves. You too. Look after yourself. I'm sorry. Love, your brother David. Here. Hmm. Who was David with? You'll have to keep watching to find out. Today, we're going to look at letter writing. We've looked at formal letter writing before on Living English. This time, we'll look at personal letter writing. First, let's look at how to begin. Dear Anne, please don't look for me. Calling someone dear is old fashioned. We mostly say dear to children, but we still use it when starting a letter. Dear Anne. This letter is not formal. David is Anne's brother, so he writes Dear Anne and not Dear Ms Lee. How do you finish a personal letter? Listen. Look after yourself. I'm sorry. Love, your brother David. He writes Love, your brother David. He could have just written Love, David. Of course, you only use love with family members or very close friends. Now let's listen to some more of the letter. Please don't look for me. I need to be by myself. David uses the word myself. The self words are called reflexive pronouns. To understand how to use them, you need to know what a subject, an object and a personal pronoun are. Personal pronouns are the words such as I, he, she, we, you and they. There are different ways of saying these personal pronouns. In this clip, listen carefully to the words Anne uses for her brother. I've come to Adelaide to look for him. How long did he study here? She calls her brother him and he. Why does she use different pronouns for the same person? First, let's look at how she uses him. I've come to Adelaide to look for him. Say, I've come to Adelaide to look for him with Anne. I've come to Adelaide to look for him. We don't say, I've come to Adelaide to look for he. We say him. This is because Anne's brother is the object of the sentence. Let's have a closer look at a simple sentence. She came to look for him. 
Sentences usually have a subject and an object. In English sentences, most of the time, the subject of the sentence comes first. The subject in this sentence is she. What has she done? She came to look for. The subject of a sentence is the person or thing that does something or performs the action. She came to look for. The object of a sentence is the person or thing that is affected by the action. She came to look for him. Most pronouns have two forms. One we use as the subject of a sentence and the other we use as the object. He is the subject. Him is the object. He helped him. She is the subject. Her is the object. She helped her. I is the subject. Me is the object. But I can't say I helped me. I have to say I helped myself. The self pronouns are used when the subject and the object of the sentence are the same person. When we say he helped him, we mean that one man, he, helped another man, him. But if I say, I helped me, both I and me must be the same person. So we use the reflexive pronoun myself. I helped myself. Now you try using the other reflexive pronouns. He himself. He helped himself. You yourself. You helped yourself. We ourselves. We helped ourselves. They themselves. They helped themselves. Notice how ourselves and themselves are plural because we and they are always more than one person. But you can be one person or several people. So you can say you helped yourself if you are talking to one person or you helped yourselves if you are talking to more than one person. Listen to David again. I need to be by myself. I need to be by myself. Another way of saying this is I need to be on my own. David wants to be alone and not see his family. Now see if you can remember and say the pronoun used in the next clip. Is it he or him? I don't think computer science was the right direction. I don't think computer science was the right direction for him. Him. Now say the pronoun in this clip. How long did How long did he study here? I've had enough of being by myself. Here's Michelle. Hello. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. What have you been talking about? Pronouns. All by yourself? Yes. You need me to help you. What pronouns can you use for me? Let's see. I can call you you if I'm talking to you. And I can call you she if I'm talking to the audience. Do you understand? Yes. Does she understand? What's the pronoun for you and me? We. What's the pronoun for the audience? They. Remember that some of these pronouns have different forms when they are the object of a sentence. What form of they is used as the object, Michelle? Them. What about we? Us. Now it's your turn to try some. We like you to watch. 
We like you to watch us. My neighbours are noisy. What can I do about... What can I do about them? Now listen for the reflexive pronoun in this clip. Tell mum and dad to forget about me and take care of themselves. Tell mum and dad to take care of themselves. Complete these sentences with me. Tell dad to take care of... Tell dad to take care of himself. Tell mum to take care of... Tell mum to take care of herself. What do you say about an animal? What about my cat? It can take care of... It can take care of itself. What about you? You can look after... You can look after yourself. Now listen to David and then say, look after yourself with him. You too. Look after yourself. When we say, look after yourself to someone, we mean we hope they will stay well. It's a nice thing to say when saying goodbye. Remember before we said that the pronoun for the audience was they? Yes. It's only they if we're talking about them. Oh. Well, what do you say if you're talking to them? When we're talking to people, we say you. You are watching us. Now, they can look after themselves. And you can look after yourselves. Yourselves? I hope there's more than one person watching. Try saying themselves with David. Tell mum and dad to forget about me and take care of... Tell mum and dad to forget about me and take care of themselves. Well, we looked at a lot of pronouns today. We sure did. There are different forms of pronouns if they are the subject of the sentence or the object of it. And if the subject and object are the same person, we use reflexive pronouns. I enjoyed myself today and I'm sure Brenton enjoyed himself. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. In our next episode, we'll tell you all you need to know about should and would. Some words for giving advice. They have been a good audience, haven't they, Brenton? Yes, and I think they will enjoy taking another look at today's episode of our drama. Bye. Look after yourselves. I'm sorry to hear your brother's gone missing, Miss Lee. We're all so worried. I've come to Adelaide to look for him. How long did he study here? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, two semesters. Did he get good grades? I'm afraid not. I don't think computer science was the right direction for him. The investigator, Mr Barber, said you have a letter from David. Ah, of course. It's, um, it's addressed to you. Uh, I told him I'd only give it to you in person. Dear Anne, please don't look for me. I need to be by myself. I can't study anymore. Tell mum and dad to forget about me and take care of themselves. You too. Look after yourself. I'm sorry. Love, your brother David. Here. Yeah.